We're so excited and grateful that you've made the decision to be a part of Switch and to lead students to become fully devoted followers of Christ. Thank you for being here and for being willing to be used by God. This training time is all about putting tools in your toolbox to help you have a maximum impact as a leader. As a new leader, you may have some ideas about how Switch looks and the impact that you hope to make. Odds are there's a very meaningful reason that moved you to sign up and serve. I doubt any of you decided to give up your Wednesday nights just because you heard you get a free t-shirt. We all wanna see this current generation of students make a big impact. We love students and we want the best for them. They are the future. We don't just want well-behaved students. We want empowered spiritual leaders who make an impact in the world they live in. Now, let's shift gears and think about why students show up. Fun, friends, games, a little flirting, a sense of belonging, fear of missing out. These are some common reasons that students show up. So here's the thing. We recognize that there may be a gap between the spiritually meaningful reasons that we are here and the sometimes more superficial reasons that students show up. Embrace that tension. That gap is where Switch exists. Remember, we are called to meet students where they are. Who they are today is not who they will be tomorrow. The fact that they're showing up is evidence that God is moving in their life. If we don't recognize this, we can begin to think things like, these students are all here for the wrong reasons. They're not here for the wrong reasons. They're here for different reasons than we are. And each one of these reasons is an opportunity for God to change their heart and their life. So if you're a Switch Group leader, it is okay to use some of your group time to talk about non-spiritual topics and just have fun. But remember, we're gonna call them to a higher standard and we're gonna challenge them to a disciplined pursuit of Christ. This is a process and it takes time and it looks different for every student. Here's some of the best advice I could possibly give you. This will go further in you being successful as a switch leader than anything else we'll talk about today. Are you ready for it? Be consistent. Consistency plus time equals trust. And trust is the essential foundation when leading students. You're here because we believe that you can make a difference. So when we have switch, we expect you to be here. And now we know emergencies may come up, but if you're taking the steps to be a switch leader, we expect you to make consistency a priority. Students spell trust, T-I-M-E. When you are consistent, you will build trust. When you build trust, you will gain influence. And when you gain influence, you have the opportunity to impact a student's eternity. Another way that we can be consistent is to live a life of integrity. You should be the exact same person you are on a Friday with your friends as you are on a Wednesday with your students. Remember, if we live with integrity, nothing else matters. And if we don't live with integrity, nothing else matters. As a switch leader, we set the example of how students should live their lives. The Apostle Paul says, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. When you set that example, students learn to know who Jesus truly is. When we follow Christ, we set the example of how students should live their lives. So what you do outside of Switch matters just as much as what you do inside of Switch. Let's talk about social media. Social media is an ever-growing part of our student culture. And as a Switch leader, you have the opportunity to live in that social media world with them through technology. And they'll begin to draw conclusions of how you live your life based on what you post. And now I'm not saying that you should post a Bible image every single day or a verse from you version, but what I am saying is that you be mindful when you post things like a workout picture, or maybe a party with your friends, or even sharing something with explicit language. Give students a picture of your life, but filter it with this in mind. If my student or their parent saw this post, would it help me or hurt me in trying to gain influence and set that example for that student? Never give up influence tomorrow by damaging your own reputation today. Your youth pastor or orientation host will lead you through a variety of different roles that you can play at Switch. One of those roles that we wanna highlight is the role of a switch group leader. A switch group leader leads a small group of students of the same gender as they are and typically the same age as each other. 
They'll spend the entire evening hanging out with these students and then lead them in a discussion after the message. We have a strategy called Lead Small, and it's the best way for you to be successful as a switch group leader. Lead Small is five key concepts. And if you do these five things consistently over time, it will set you up to be successful as a leader. Now these concepts are geared towards small group leaders, but they can be applied to any role you step into at Switch. Number one, be present. Show up predictably. We talked about how important consistency is earlier, but as a small group leader, it is absolutely essential. When students get to switch, they need to know that their group leader is gonna be there. Show up randomly. Never underestimate the power of showing up in the life of your students outside of switch. They begin to expect that you're gonna be here at Switch, but when you show up at a ball game or you send them a text message, you encourage them that when they have a play or a dance recital or something like that coming up, and it really reinforces the community and the connections that you're making inside of Switch. Show up mentally. It's not just enough to show up at Switch and suck oxygen. We need you to come prepared to lead your group. Let me introduce you to Will Coleman, who leads at our Broadway and Britain campus, for him to tell you how he gets prepared for switch. As a switch leader, it's extremely important for me to show up mentally every single week. It's not just okay for me to just be there in the building with the students, but it's really about me showing up mentally and walking in being prepared. So for me, the week starts off with the, the leader email that we get from the youth pastor. I read over that to make sure that I'm fully aware of what's happening, but then it's also looking at the video to making sure I've seen the message up front. I've also seen the questions. So showing up mentally isn't just, hey, I'm in the building, look at me, you know, but it's being fully prepared because we get such a limited amount of time with our students. We really only get 20 to 25 minutes each week with our students in, in small groups. So I want to make sure those 25 minutes are the most impactful uh, amount of time that, 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 that they have during that week. I want to make sure that we're asking the questions. I want to make sure that we're diving deep. I want to make sure that, that they're getting something out of this and so they can leave changed. And so that's what I really enjoy about it. I love getting to connect with those students and it's important for me to be ready to do that. Two, creating a safe place. As the Switch Group Leader, you are the leader of the group. And you may have some students in your group who have the gift of leadership and like to dominate the conversation or set a negative tone. But ultimately, it's the Switch Group Leader's responsibility to set the tone and the culture of the group. And when we talk about tone and culture, we're really just talking about three things, acceptance, confidentiality, and honesty. Students have to feel safe in order to open up into their switch group. And so it's ultimately the switch group leader's responsibility to help students feel safe. Also, students need to feel safe to bring their questions and their doubts. And don't worry, you don't have to have all the answers. But allowing students to wrestle with their questions and bringing your past experiences may be exactly what that student needs. Three, partnering with parents. Switch groups not only influence our students, but also the family. It's important for us to recognize that it's our students' parents who have the greater influence of our students. Because of this, it's important for us to make the connection between what happens on a Wednesday night and what happens in our students' homes. Let's take a look at Kendra's story and see how she was able to partner with parents. Hi, my name is Kendra Wenzel. Um, I've been serving in Switch for two years. Um, one of the most important things I do at Switch doesn't happen on Wednesday night. It happens throughout the week, and that is partnering with parents. Not all parents have it together. Some of them have baggage and issues, but all parents do want to do the best they can for their kids. And so a big role of mine is just partnering alongside them to help their students become fully devoted followers of Christ. Four, make it personal. One of the best things you can do is live out your faith honestly in front of your students, but not as a perfect Christian, as someone who's been through struggles and persevered and still continues to pursue Christ. Share stories with your group about how when you went through these struggles that Jesus still remains faithful in your life. Show them you value community and commitment. Encourage your students and join with them in a reading plan on YouVersion. Pray for them inside of Switch and also talk about how you pray for them outside of Switch. Remember, you may be the only example that they see of what it looks like to follow Jesus. Five, move them out. We want our students to not just go to church, 
We want them to be the church today, right now. We want our students to be spiritual contributors in this world, not spiritual consumers. Filling up a room on a Wednesday night isn't the win. The win is to develop, empower, and release students into the world to make an impact. Encourage your students to attend church and participate in worship on the weekend. Lead them to invite their friends and their families to church. Ask them to join and use their gifts to serve. Help them to know what it looks like to share their faith in their schools. So if we do these five things, be present, create a safe place, partner with parents, make it personal, and move them out, and we do them consistently, we will lead students. We will have a huge impact. We will be leaders. Now I wanna leave you with a special message that Pastor Craig created just for you. Hey, I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you and tell you thank you. First of all, congratulations for taking a step of faith to use your gifts to impact students, to lead them to become fully devoted followers of Christ. And then I wanna say thank you so much for investing in one of the most important parts of our entire church. Uh, for years, people would say that the students, they're the future of the church. We always say this, they're not the future of the church, they are the present church. They are students capable of leading now, uh, leading their friends to Christ, praying, leading in worship, making a massive difference. And as we know, so many of them are growing up in difficult environments. Even if they're in a good home, they face so many temptations at school. Our spiritual enemy is out trying to lie to them, to steal, to kill, and destroy. And God has raised you up. God has given you experiences. God has given you passion and God has given you wisdom to make a big difference in the lives of the students. And I just wanna tell you that as you give to them, God is gonna to give to you. I pray that as you're a blessing to this emerging generation, that you'll be incredibly blessed. God is gonna use you to impact so many lives. So congratulations on the step of faith and thank you for using your gift to leave students to be fully devoted followers of Christ.